Hi there everybody. I'm working on a painting of a giraffe. So we're going to attempt to make this painting more interesting together. I want you to understand as we start that this is something I really do. Uh, I could mess up terribly. This could be bad. But that's the risk we take with every project. And I'm very glad that you're willing to come along without knowing ahead of time whether this will succeed. Everybody wave. I'm saying hi to Josh. I'm saying hi to Ryan. I'm saying hi to my friend Pekka all the way over in Finland. Folks, this is mostly for the students in my class. So if you find me repetitive, I'm making sure folks are picking up on English. Uh, seems an important thing. Come along. Let's see if we can't make this painting a a little more interesting. Is that okay with everyone? What I'd like to do is add a couple of children in here. One down at our giraffe's feet and one up top who's going to have a little bit of a surprise. So I'm taking some white paint, white paint, and we're going to take some blue Everybody see what color we're dealing with? A very nice blue. It's a very good blue. I like this blue a lot. I use it a lot. I like to add a little white to make it lighter. I like to add a little black so the black and white together make it a little gray or a little more uh, slate. Trying to be safe, Pekka. Thank you very much. And there's Darren Kennedy. We have a doctor joining us today. We also have an author joining us today. And they're both wearing Dar Darren Kennedy's shirt. So, I've mixed this up a much lighter blue. We need to darken that a little bit so people can tell it from the sky. What do you think? Normally, I like to mix with a palette knife, but today I'm just going with my brush, my boar bristle brush. And there's Nick Umstead. Uh, Nick is also uh, teacher, he teaches painting down at Radford, so we're going to hope he doesn't make fun of my silly style too much. How are you today, Nick? And we're just going to solid in this little outfit. I tend to just paint figures, people, without declaring whether they're man or woman, male or female, and especially when I'm doing kids. I like them all wearing unisex, unicolor outfits. It just seems so much more relaxed to me. There's Renee. If any of you can check Renee, she also makes art. She makes very good art. I'm going to grab a piece of chalk here. Chalk, because I don't trust all my brush strokes. Hello, Renee. And you see how we've made his body this wide with a little head. I like to put on the chalk first. That way if I make a mistake, all I need is a clean washcloth and I can wipe it off. Our ground's going to come up around there. That seems like a good level for the ground, doesn't it? Let's assume... Our little people are about that tall. What do you think? That looks like a good height for a person, doesn't it? Let's get out a little bit of yellow. We can mix some yellow with our blue and we will make a nice light green. If any of my students would like to look at what other artists do, Renee Webb Allen, R-E-N-E-E, -E -E. Webb is W E. B, B, two B's, Allen, A-L-L-E-N. She's been drawing in public lately to keep up people's spirit and attitude while we're all trapped inside. I think you'll like what she does if you look. There's my friend Samantha. All my friends are here today. Let's see how many of our students we can get to climb on board when this goes out. Does that sound like a good plan? Let's see if we can't get another kid on here. 
you're just going to add in a little outfit for this kid too. Keeping everything very generic, very relaxed. I do several kinds of paintings, but some of my favorites are what I call indefinite. There's nothing specifically happening. They're not about a man in Ohio or a woman in a field. They're just about people in general. There's Nikki How Weird. How are you? Nikki and I went to my first art school together. She's in New Jersey, so we have people tuning in from all over the world. Isn't that nice? Finland, West Virginia, North Carolina, New Jersey. Renee, I don't know where you are. Why don't you tell everyone where you are? Maybe we can all look it up on a map. Wouldn't that be nice? Samantha, why don't you tell people where you are? And then we can all look it up on a map. I think that would be fun. So we're going to get some of that off my brush. And we're going to get out some black. Nice dark black. For those of us who still get confused about our colors, that's black. It's a nice dark color, like night. Renee says she's in Texas. When we're done here, why don't you look up Texas on a map? It's in the southern end of the U.S., beside the Gulf of Mexico and Mexico. Pretty cool. So let's see what we can do with this black. I always get out more paint than I need because I'm silly. But we're going to do our best with this anyway. I'm going to pick another brush here from my mini. This brush is very tiny compared to the last one. And I use it for making little tiny thin lines. Let's see if we can outline this here. I'm too cheap to buy a belly stick, so I just use my arm. We're going to just try and add a few lines to define this person's outfit. Starting to turn into a person. Let's put some nice legs floating out. And we're going to add a second leg. Two legs helps. It's not required, but it helps. And I would get upset over things as a young man because I thought something wasn't nice or fair. My father would say to me, have you ever seen a three-legged dog that wasn't happy? Think about that. What does that mean to you? To me, it means we all have a reason to be happy. My friend Josh would like me to know that his daughter is watching. We call her the Munchkin. And Shannon just tuned in. Shannon is in Florida. Florida also touches the Gulf of Mexico. If we include you and all my friends learning English today, we've got a really nice group of people here, I think. So let's see if I can't add a head on this nice person. Big round sweep. Oh, we're getting close. I'll get this looking a little more. And then right there, we'll get you in close and show you what these people end up looking like, all right? We'll get you closer to the painting as we move on. We're going to let this person reach out. This person really wants to touch the giraffe. If you were that close to a giraffe, wouldn't you want to touch it? I got to touch a giraffe once at a zoo. So we need to just cinch in this waist here a little bit. Notice how I added just one line in the middle. And now we're going to try something maybe a little harder. We're going to get a different brush, a little thicker, a little longer. We're going to 
spread us a little paint here. How's that? We're going to give three lines coming up from this person's waist. Three lines. That's two. That's three. What do you think the three lines are for? Any ideas? Stick with me and we'll reveal that. Let's see. We'll add one. Then we'll add number two. Number two. And now we're going to add number three. Number three. One, two, three. What do you think we're adding? I'm going to unplug you for a second to take you closer. We're adding three. One, two, three. I'd like those to be balloons. We're going to make balloons so this person can go up and visit a giraffe. Balloons to visit the giraffe. There's my buddy Jeff. Jeff was in Kansas, but I'm unsure where he is now. If you're watching, you can ask where Jeff is, and maybe he'll tell you. So, I think one of our balloons has to be red. Red is a very popular color. This is red. See the red? Just paint, though. Don't worry. Just paint. We're going to squeeze a little out there. If you'd like to see a funny, this is my palette. It's an old piece of Tupperware that I like to use to mix paint. Look how many colors I've mixed. I'm a very messy artist. I'm a very messy artist. Nobody tell my wife how messy I am. There's my friend Jamie joining us. Jamie is joining us from Ohio. Maybe Kentucky. She tends to move around. I'm unsure. I'm going to say Far Balloon gets made red. What do you think? Far Balloon? The furthest balloon. The one furthest away. Bye-bye, Renee. Have a good day. Hello, Jamie. How are you? That's one coat, one coat, one of red. I'll have to do it multiple times. And let's add a yellow orange balloon. What do you think? Orange is a very vibrant color against all that blue. Get a little more yellow in there. Tomorrow afternoon, I thought we'd sit down and mix some colors together. Would that be nice? We can make colors with various colors of paint. I think it's very fun. One red balloon, one orange balloon, and how about a green balloon to go beside them? For those of you who are more advanced learners, I'm going to tell you echo. Echo! Normally, we say echo is when we call out to a canyon or a valley and our voice comes back. <clears throat> but I want to use echo in a different way. I'm going to put green on the bottom for grass, and if I put some green up here, they will balance each other, they will echo each other, and keep your eye moving. 
one of those ways we use words in more than one way. Echo is used in art quite a bit. We like to talk about keeping the viewer's eye moving around the painting. We like you to go up and follow back down and go up and follow back down as you look at a painting. The longer your eye moves, the more interested you are and the longer you'll like it. These are things that are important to us. I'm going to grab a little water here so I can clean out my brushes. You have to keep those brushes very clean because brushes are expensive. Brushes aren't too expensive, but I'm very cheap. And there's Sarah. All of my learners who are tuning in will know Sarah, the teacher. Sarah has been making videos for everyone in the citizenship class at Blue Ridge Literacy. Sarah teaches people so they can take the citizenship class. This makes me jealous. I'd like to teach a citizenship class. I think it's a cool thing to do. So, we're going to have to add some flesh tones. Flesh. We like to talk about the colors of people, but we're all just various shades of very light brown to darker brown. So I'm going to try and mix up a couple of shades of brown and see if we can add some people to our people paintings. Let's start with this. This is what's known as burnt umber. We're going to get a little out here for you to look at. Look at that. Isn't that a nice color? I like that color a lot. It's very earthy. We're going to spread some of this out on our palette. And for those of you tuning in late, look how messy all the colors in my palette are. Yeah. One of us needs to clean our palette more often. Devin is a friend of yours watching with his daughter. Well, good for Devin, and welcome to Devin's daughter. Let's get as many people to visit as we can. I think it's best when we get together. All right, so I've mixed up a color of brown here. I'm going to add a little more brown. And like I said earlier, We'll talk about mixing colors tomorrow, but right now I'm going to use a color of brown about like that. Not that far off of the color of brown I am. And let's see if that doesn't make our top figure look a little more like a person. Each one of these times I put down color, I have to put multiple coats multiple coats. It takes a lot of patience. You have to do the same part of the job over and over again. But that's how we make things better, isn't it? That's how we make things better. Now let's go back in and let's give arms and legs to the little figure. Arms and legs. Let's see what we can do here. We're gonna add one leg. And we'll add a second leg. And then we're going to outline There are some people who say we should not outline figures. Because some classical pa painters didn't outline figures. But some of my favorite artists did use outlines. I like comic books. I like Vincent van Gogh. Many of the Impressionists also used outlines. It's a preference. A preference. A choice that makes me happy. We're going to finish that circle out. Now... We made this person a very light shade, light like me. We're going to make the other person a little darker so that everybody has friends who aren't just like them. What do you think? I think we all need a little variety in our life. 
the running joke in my house is where I'm, where we're from, we use spices. It's one of one of my students said to me when I shared a snack, and it made me laugh for days. Marina has joined us. Marina is from Russia, but now she lives in New York. She's a very good artist too. If Marina leaves a uh, a quote or says something on the video, you should go look at her art. It's very good. So let's try make this person with a little more brown than the last one. A little more brown. This is just our first coat. We'll go in and add some more color a little later, but we want to make sure we have different colors of people, just like the world. So, our first person is light, and our second person is much darker. And we're going to have them both visiting with the giraffe. Won't that be nice? I'm going to tune in with you all later today again, and we're going to look at how the colors have progressed, and maybe we'll mix a little paint together. I think mixing paint is a lot of fun. We get to make all these colors custom and make them swirl together. I hope to see you all then. Have a good afternoon.